Maybe I've memorized it. Thanks a lot. Right, um, first of all, welcome. Uh, I was just talking to the organizing committee there. Um, we're here on a joyous occasion in a way. We're after raising money for some local charities. But we'd like to please ask you all for a minute's silence for uh, a comrade of ours that was um, unfortunately gunned down in Kilkenny yesterday yeah, and in Cutcliffe. So I would like to ask you all please for a minute's silence for our comrade. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Um, we have a few speeches and made presentations, so I'll start with calling on the chairman of the SCORE, Charles E. Pugh's committee, uh, the All Ireland Bowling Champion, Mr. Taddy O'Callaghan. Councillors, workmates, sponsors, and friends. So it's a great occasion for me to be an Ireland champion with my workmates and friends tonight and not raising my good charity. Dan Cronin said to keep this speech short, which I will. <laughs> so, um, before we do any more, yeah, I want to be the one man put a lot of work into this appeal, and you all know what I'm talking about. He did more than anyone else. And I want a big bull of us for Jerry Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. And I would like to call Mayor McCombe to say a few words. Yeah, we can't, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's easy for him to have it. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Um, deputy, fellow councillors, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh, first of all, thanks for inviting me, Anthony. And it is easy to come up and talk about something good. You know, the, the effort that the lads have put in there, and the ladies, who are behind them, I suppose, you know, <laughs> everyone works together. It's unbelievable. I mean, I was here six or seven weeks ago at the launch of this. And first of all, how do I start up, up the road, a few of the lads said, if certain man wins this, we'll, we'll go in and we'll organise and make up the quid for charities. And this is this is what happened, right? And I, I don't know how much money was made, but by all accounts was substantial sum, like and the charities which they're being donated as well, they're all great cause. Um you know, I'll, 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 I could say I'll talk about the good and the good money would also. But um it just goes to show when people put their mind to it and put go out and dedicate themselves to something, the public will come out and support everything. I see the lads are out in the street, it was the last Saturday or Saturday, collecting, and the rain pelting on top of up the road, trying to score, and the rain and lashing. But I mean, when you do this, and when people see you, that you're into that much, they'll, they'll support you. Now, I just want to say to the lads, well done, it was brilliant, because the amount of time you put into it was astonishing, and uh, Everyone involved in this deserves the support and deserves their own applause. Thanks very much. I know I'd like to call the MC with my polishings. <laughs> 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 
especially for calling me early, calling me early in the morning, Chairman. Thank you, Maddie. Um, the next person I'd like to call in to say a few words is our um, Treasurer and our local branch manager in the Room Post Office, Daniel Hervey. Win and win swap. <laughs> My job is very easy because I just have to announce the amount of money we made and where it's going. So without further ado, I'll just get to the amount of money we have to give out, which is €12,500. Now, we have €3,000 going to McCroom Senior Citizens. We have another 3000 to be divided between McCroom Hospitals and St. Coleman's Hospital. And we have 3,000 for Cope Foundation, and we have another 3,000 for Marymount Hospital. But we have another charity that we didn't really know was on its own, and that is Coomanov, and doing great work for the local community here in McCroom. So we decided that we'd give them 500 extra on our total. Now it's 12,500 euro we're actually giving out altogether. That's great to see you. So I'm going to keep my speech short as well. That's, I'd just like to thank everybody that was involved in, 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 in the collecting of the money. And as well as that, I'd like to say that we had a, a, an enormous entry for the, child, the children's comedy competition. We had 1,400 entries. And they were, they were of the highest quality. And I leave, I leave, I leave the rest of that to Joey now to be, to be talking about. I don't think I have any more to say, but thank you very much indeed. Thank you, boss. Or Dan, whatever. <laughs> um, as Dan said, um, or Paddy even said earlier on, there's the man on my left here who came up with the bright idea. We were blaming Paddy Callum for winning the Ireland, but it was Joey really pushed us, and he put an enormous amount of work into it. So I now hand you over to the Secretary of, our, of the Committee, uh, Jory Murphy. Thank you, Bob. Um, there was a phone call about what happened here tonight. Penny Callaghan, our Chairman. Come here, must I say a few words tonight? You see? And what am I supposed to say? And look, Penny says, I, I have to get you into this mess, I'll get you out of it. So, <laughs> no, there's a lot of things to be said, um, mostly thank yous. Um, first of all, I'd like to start off congratulating Paddy and give us the opportunity to raise the money. Now, secondly, I'd like to thank on Post for coming on board as the main sponsor and give us the full support. Now, uh, as you probably heard from the first night when the charity was launched, uh, how it all started, Paddy was behind in um, throwing the the gate thugs final behind Balaborna and Norwell and myself said we'd go back. The first route we got behind back in the road behind the road from Paddy, uh, the two magpies are coming, you see. <laughs> so he went down and when he won so we were behind the Abbey that night and crack was only mighty. <laughs> so Paddy, look he says, if I win the county now, we must go and do something for charity. <coughs> so he to throw a few more scores before that, he went to lose his town and he won the, the county. So that was put in the back burner and the man he had to go up to Drahada in September, he had a job to do there. So fair play to me to deliver in Drahada anyway. Yes. Um, so I started pestering Paddy then, you see? What's going to happen about the bowling? Look he says, but I don't know he's going to organise it. I sat out the bowling, Paddy sat out the bowling, you see? <coughs> so we called the meeting below one evening in the starting office and um, I had a bit of work done in it. Um, I'd gone on to a few businesses, told them what we were at, what you want, they said. I mentioned the figure, just throw, look, start, start high and work way, way down. Mentioned the figure, no problem. So I went back to the lads in the starting office. Um, first thing they were told, look lads, there's a back door now. The exit sign, know where it is. When the pressure gets <coughs> tough, you can dash for it. No one's going to hold you down. So, um, fair enough. 
there's some podcasts to be said. And I had my ideas, they had their ideas, and it's snowballed. And um, we put, in the space of a few days, we put a, a package together and we launched it. The bank called them on the night in October. In the October. No, I just like to go through the people that um, have helped put all this together. Thank the main sponsors who I run the first day and who then went on to. First of all, for putting faith in us. And hopefully, now that during the campaign we have delivered um, good publicity for your companies. And hopefully, that you support us again whenever we run an event again. I want to say a big thank you to Don O'Herlihy, Dan's son. Um, Don is in college above in Bally Farmer, second year um, student doing animation. And what he can do with a, with a, a paintbrush or, or a, a coloring pen is, is unthinkable. So I said I wanted a logo designed. So in the space of two hours above one night in drumery uh, on a computer, this lovely logo behind us here. You put that together. Just big thank you to Dan. <laughs> no, um, I want to thank all the other businesses in town and the locality and outside Groom who contributed to the appeal. We uh, sent out begging letters and fair play to the businesses. They replied. Um, I want to thank all the staff of the sub offices postmasters and postmistresses for selling tickets both in the offices, both in the offices and out on the road on their deliveries. I want to thank everyone who sold tickets. No, people who sold tickets in the USA, in Boston, people sold tickets of Musha, people sold tickets over in Wales. So there was a good spread. I want to thank the press, both um, printed press, the radio, I want to thank LTV1, then John Petter. I want to thank LTV2, Shani Radley and Shani Murphy outside Mill Street. Uh, I had a PowerPoint presentation put together and I sent it back to him. And um, I said, Shani, can you put that together? He says, we're after filming or a gig for the film on Monday night. And I uh, it was a Tuesday and I contacted him. So they put it together half an hour before they went on the air on the Thursday night. And I want to thank the bowling fraternity. I want to thank uh, Ray June McGill, both on the personal level, I suppose, for, I went up to Jahada with Paddy and with a great weekend above them, just wanted to a special thanks to all the, the bowlers from Westerland and uh, Paddy's family for giving me a, a great welcome above in Jahada and, and looking after me that weekend. Um, I want to thank McCroom Bowling Club for organising the score last Saturday. I want to thank Jolly Murray for refereeing the score. I want to thank the players that participated in the two scores. David McSweeney, Leo Hughes, Tony Carey, and uh, something like called Paddy O'Callaghan. Um, they played in atrocious weather, it was, it was unreal. Torrance of rain coming down and how they threw a ball up the road, I don't know, but fair play to them anyway. Now I want to thank everyone else who was out on the streets last Saturday. There was people below in the mat, there was people down in Super Value, um, people below in the post office selling tickets um, and at the dinner din, there at, at Larry's crossing, stopping traffic, all the traffic jams out the road, um, collecting money for them. I want to thank all the schools now and all the pupils who participated in the children's art competition. As Dan said while ago, last um, Thursday evening we were both going through 1400 entries and uh, the quality and the, their own uh, interest. <laughs> I want to say a special thank you to Michael and Alina Reardon and all the staff here who have um, looked after us both on the night of the launch and here again tonight and uh, just a, a sincere thank you to them. <laughs> no, um, I want to thank Bracken Keating local artist, voting artist, um, it, like I said, to see, to see the judging of the, the art competition and how we picked 12 entries out of 1400 in the space of three hours, I don't know, but fair place to the men anyway. Thanks very much.
Now on a personal note, I want to say a big thank you to Thomas Cal from Shelley Keel. Um, he did a lot of work for me, for gratis, and um, in putting signs together and doing promotional work. And uh, I want to say a special thank you to his mother Sheila for keeping coffee going to us at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning, putting stuff together. So it was along the way in putting this together. But um, all the lads, they all pulled together. There was a job to be done and they did it with great professionalism. And well done to you all. Okay. Now I'd like to thank the representatives of all the charities for coming on tonight. And hopefully now you'll make good use of the money and um, all the people involved with your associations will benefit greatly from it. Uh, for my own sake now, I just want to thank you all for coming along tonight. Um, happy Christmas and we'll see you next year at our next event. Thanks a lot. Now we know where we're running next year. Thanks, Charlie. Uh, I'd just like to call on Monsignor O'Donnell to say a few words now as well, please. Billy has left hardly anything to be said, but I would like to congratulate again the people who were responsible for this in the first place, because it was a kindly thought and a very generous thought to get together and raise money for the local charities. And I think there's a great group of people who got together, the representatives of Unpost, but of course they were on a winner from the beginning. Um, I'm delighted to be associated with it in a very small way. I was found myself on television with two greats outside in Kilomart there a couple of, a couple of uh, Sundays ago, Paddy, or a couple of Saturdays ago, Paddy and uh, Bishop Buckley. You know, I was asked a very, very difficult question, and mind you, and I had to answer it on the spot. And I hope that Paddy forgives me. I was asked which of them was I going to favour in this so-called competition that was going to take place, you know? And I came down in favour of, of uh, Bishop Buckley, really, because I had known him longer than I had known Paddy. You see, but uh, Paddy, I'm sorry about that. But in fact, of course, I was on a loser on that particular case because there was no contest, really. Do you know, when it came to it, Paddy was going to overthrow uh, Bishop Buckley that, 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 that afternoon anyway. Bishop Buckley pretended that he eased off because of the fact that he was against an All-Ireland winner. But, I, uh, but I don't, I, I'd say that even if he did his best, he'd hardly have beaten Paddy that afternoon. Well, well done to everybody concerned anyway. There was, it was great. There was great generosity of spirit in the, in, the, in, in the project from the beginning. And I think you elicited the best in generosity from all the people who have cooperated in the project. And thanks be to God to have such a happy conclusion to it here this, this evening. Well done, everybody. Uh, thank you, my senior. Uh, I'd have to put on my glasses now because Jerry's writing isn't great. And my eyesight is worse. Okay, we, we have a few presentations to make. Um, the first of them will be the Bowie presentations. Um, in the score coming down, in driving rain, Eamon Sweeney, runner up. from Bellamorna, Broca, Raven, whatever, so that was score was called off, but hopefully we'll play that in the new year and we'll give a few back to some other charity around town. But very kindly, um, there was a man down in East Cork came up to accept the trophy on behalf of Tony Carey. Please.
the, way, the winner of that score was, what's his name again? <laughs> Pat, the All Ireland champion, or Cannon from Keane, or Matra. <laughs> We're very, we're very culture with Blow in the post office because he played football with Clandrohood. He's a postman in Kilometro, he claims he's in Kilometro now anyway. And it was on the papers a couple of months ago when he did when he was actually in Pedavola. So Paddy, where, where, where are you actually from? <laughs> he's from Midcock, right? he's from the Grey Coast. That'll do fine. Now, as you all know, we had a, a draw as well. Unfortunately, I didn't win it. A lovely, a lovely, a lovely uh, trip to Disneyland in Paris, and the winner was Sean and Lynch from Kilimanjaro. Paddy fixed that, of course. <laughs> Being the person back there, but I'd like to—I don't think she's here, is she? She is there. No, but Sean is not here. Mommy's here, so we'll ask Mommy to come up and collect the prize. Make sure you get it right, but no. So that, that, that was the first prize in the Charlie Jarrett. And we were all after this and then to see Mickey Mouse and Minnie and the rest of them. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to give uh, the presentation of checks. The reason we're really here, to the, char the local charities. <clears throat> so, the first one we call in is, um, we're better to be pleased from Court Foundation, please. Representative of Mary Mount Hospice was only able to attend tonight, so we'd like to kind of say our, our call on Monsignor O'Donnell to accept the check on, check on behalf of um, Mary Mount Hospice. I'll take a great welcome the next time I go in there. <laughs> As you know, I'm post, right, over the next two weeks, we're going to be kind of busy, right? So I'm sure you'll all bear with us if you're stuck in a long queue in the post office or if your mail arrives later than it normally does. But I'm sure you'll appreciate the time of the year it is that we're going to be a little bit late. Then would you hurry up and write the check because I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> to the joke. <laughs> I can't come and see where it's here. I don't know any team jokes then, I'm sorry. No, but um, on behalf of the organising committee as well, like, we'd like to thank you all for your, being here again tonight. And um, as I say, it was wonderful success and f four and a half, we picked up a charity in the way we did, you know, that we didn't realise we were leaving out and the cheque is made out. I'd like to thank you all for coming and maybe this time next year we might double the money. Go to Margaret Gillian. Thank you very much. I'm
know here with uh, Paddy O'Callaghan, who's the All Ireland Junior Sea Bowling Champion. Paddy, could you just tell me when did you start bowling? First of all, what age were you? Well, I started probably bowling in seven or eight, but in competition, I threw under 16 in Massy Town. And I'm 15 next May, so I can make that for myself for long in bowling. I'm bowling a long, long time. You're a long time. And um, tell me now the, the All Ireland series that you're involved in this year. Uh, that started with the Gale the competition, I presume. The Gale the competition started the first side. My first was score until the top score against an older and dear friend of mine, Jory Wahan. Tear big. And I made Jory after the big struggle. Jory took a great score, a great sport, he was scoring. He was from the way over. And I threw William Odriscoll, killing the Cortina, finding another good top score, and I beat it by ball of ads. Where was the final play, uh, Paddy? Bottom were playing by the one of the biggest DIB hotels sponsored them scores that year, this year, like. But, uh, Right, then so the Gaelic took one and it's on to the county championship the next episode. But the Gaelic took one and I had a drink drink. <laughs> and went back in training and I was thank you very well, a couple of good friends of mine, Emma McSweeney, Cooley and John Creed Miller Warren, the senior ball player. John was involved in the championship and he was that was kind of disrupting us. We were aiming for to win two All Irelands. Creed and Senior and myself junior, but that's just after the moment and hopefully we, after Christmas we start out of we hope to win it, but so I was trying good enough, kind of confident enough, and the backers were confident. I, my first score was against Colum Noren, our bullock, in Castleton, Kenneth. So um, we know that he made that evening for them. Um, I think it was around 2,900 a side, and I won that in the last shot. So um, my next score then was against Dave Mackey, the city in Temple Martin, for 1,400 a side, and I won that in the last shot. And I told in a fellow by the name of Vincent Callahan from Butlerstown in Dennis Arford in Manway for 3,200 a side. And I won that by a bone and a half ads. You mean that I'm petty with the last shot? Yeah, but you know, can you play him along like bring him out to get the money on and <laughs> the last shot is a foot to do you. <laughs> was, that, was, that one, was that the final, the county final? The semi final in the county. So the, f- the county final was fixed for Newcastle or newly tired road has first chipped for the Sahadini. I never forget the lady. We threw for 7,250 a side. But all even. And that was the first time this year I was led in the whole championship in the fourth and fifth set against Stevie Holiday. But from the, then I took the lead in the sixth shot and then on, I won by ball of ads in the finish. And like the man said, we were drank enough earlier. <laughs> Before we go to the other end, sit up here, just, just, just something across my mind when you talk about, about the, ta- the, the, the new really chip tear road. Yeah. No, I presume the road is not through the bowling, no, isn't it? Oh, no, not through the bowling. Smooth road through some players and a chip road through strong players, like, but a mixture of both is going like, But the newly chip tear, you want to shift your ball 50 or 60 yards away from if we could to get the road. If we had another 50 or 60 yards, 100 yards, it don't seem to sound much, but we've got 100 yards over each shot. The average chance wins all the scores. The miners don't win nothing in the short ones. Well, obviously, the, the only t- t- chip road, it's sort of do that, isn't it? It's only me, yeah. It's only me, but, like, I don't have to pick in the roads. Like, the, the, the executive, executive in Cock will come and picks the roads. It could be Dunmanway, it could be it could New Tipperary, it could be Dunamore, it could be Kilcorny, it could be inside the city, it could be anywhere, like. So, I tell anybody, Pat, look who gets the road, like. Right, so the county was won, and next thing is on to the All Ireland series. Now, where did you go to the Um The Bayern Road in Drogheda. We went up, I'd be myself, went up. Jolly Wan said to me, he said, Jolly backed me all the year, and he was kind of my coach. He said, Go early, he said. And I had the first two weeks in September booked with him for holidays. So we went early, we went Wednesday and here we went up and we stayed above in a place called Clawhart Head. Beautiful part of the country, near the sea. So we walked around, we got used to the road and I met a fellow above called Dawn and Lucy, Dawn and Coney, Bella Warnham. I was a fierce help him. We walked around, we got to know the road, we knew we twist and turn the road. When we were going for our first All Ireland, I know 50 years of age nearly, we were trying to win it. So... Um, I'm not just saying Perry, you, you talk to Steve Perry, serious? Oh! Just, that's our game, that's it. If McCroom were playing a county final the morning, I'm sure they'll take a series too. <laughs> <laughs> what anyway went down to the final? No, we had a two scores. Oh, sorry, yeah. 
Uh, the first score was Sahadi, who last the semi final were gone. We see um, more All Ireland series. When the winner count, you go straight to the All Ireland final. But this grade, you must throw two scores. Provided you win the first score, you win the final. So I was trying for the Jerk Kennedy from Mayo and William O'Brien from London. And we threw a um, good, tough score. Kennedy, I started kind of rusty. But I came into my own after five or six shots and I was. Um, that was really the winner, I learned from me that semi final. But he threw five milers and I beat the five of them. And I broke his heart. And I won the semi final. Fifteen balls, I said, it's good. I mean, fifteen shots to cover the road. But, um, Jerkini had no stake. And we threw for, I think, around 1200 inside. But I really wish to appreciate the backers I had. We got t shirt printed up, blue and white t shirts. We had to go over the Kilimata colors, with Kilbin wow. Kilimata, and, and we counted 64 of them in Drahara. So you couldn't imagine we'd have them Ben Bellawuna back, or we'd have them McCroom back. We even, we even had Cordrum in back, yes. But the same we know that it was a real Mosby show, turned the real Kilimata, turned out to the real Mosby show. And that's what I like to appreciate and thank the people of the whole locality for backing in the semi you know, and when we'll go there and I got the biggest fight of my life. The two tonight when I went up I went over I said go out to Shano Morocco's and Kilimata we were selling t-shirts there and Debbie Hotel in Bellavona. When I went back to the road, more two, you know I'm leaving behind. And they said they have a host that was a sign up. Oh Callahan will deliver in Drahada. <laughs> so that was pressure. Anyway, you said it was a bit troubled. You must have been half a party, but we had to ring the island. Well, um, we'll talk about the first, a couple of nights first. When we go these places, you must mind yourself. And we had a good night for a night, my supporters. Even one of them, I think he was a man around 70 years, he danced on top of a table on every duck by night. <laughs> but um, I had to go home, I had to go to the dig, because I was only on Nuka's head and water, I go down, mind myself. So, I won that score, so we went in and then um, Saturday evening, it was around 5 o'clock, we went into this pub for our group where we were staying and they all started cheering, so I said, be tough lads, I said, there's nothing won yet. So I one step to the ladder, so um, Sunday morning, then my score was 6 or 12 o'clock, it was a bit early for me, because I like an afternoon or an evening score. So um, got up and did our walk, show them and the mass and said a few prayers and you don't know who I'm wish more in the mass and I'll let face you. So, um, and after our score, I knew the Lord was black. I was, there was 5,000 people in the island final. It was the biggest crowd ever witnessed the score in here that I was trying myself. So everything just went off like a tea. I uh, even brought the record the Lord in the final by two shots. So, I mean, how many high said there were Dolan and Lucy, he's in Gadda and Dolan and Coney, whichever way they go. He said the last four balls probably covered the mile road, so they couldn't do any better than that. What's the big stake in it? 3,200 aside. So. Anyway, Dolan won. Dolan won, and we beat out. Can I tell you, it is a. You're in politics, which is. Not worse than politics. <laughs> when the money is down, the money is down. And then shout here and roar at you. All Ireland and one back to the hotel and talk about a night we had. <laughs> that was West Cockleys there as well because they were in All Ireland as well. Harrington from Dunmanway. He was bait the poor old devil, but we did a fierce night about. Went home, went to bed, came down the following morning. We had a boy to grow up. We stopped in the house and jockey coming home in the morning. We arrived. Home, back to Lisa Crazy. Happy enough, good tired. So we had, the Abbey was booked in, any like it was booked, the whole old show, the Abbey was booked in to go to the Abbey. Went back to the Abbey, so the crowd was on, the crowd was fighting on real to the water with the fierce night there. Drunk again, <laughs> drunk again that night. We were like the Taylor Barn, <laughs> drinking in all kinds of cave and at home to the break it down. <laughs> Petty, uh, and then out of order came, this score, Charity Bill, which was fantastic. But the, the best night of all, well, that came big out of it, Jody Murphy, but that wasn't a great the final. But probably the best night we ever had was over at Monaco's in Kilimanjaro. The limo, we had Michael Lyons, Margaret Larry, arrived with a white limo and took some rays off the limo, and the walls were pushing towards Western Kilimanjaro in the big cock. <laughs>
So I came back to him first in working, enjoying my office and what more to charity. So I said, I'm true to my word, fire on. We found a meeting and we got the charity going and tonight is our success, so it's a real success story. But like everything, we had a few cheating problems, but it is only the beginning. Hopefully next year we'll go further and further, which is, I think it will. The Peter McCroom are great, like. It's great to do it for local charities as well. Local, from, the, from the locals do nothing. That's what I say. Even what we're doing, we say we'll be all allergy, allergy when we're crewmen playing, Kilimanjaro playing, and some other team better wouldn't playing, but we're going back to local. How good is the local? How good is the stranger to you? You know, Sammy, we're going back to local. So the local man, man, you want strangers now, could you? No, Penny, it was nice talking to you. And there's the whole story of uh, Penny Kelly's venture into the island. Junior Bowling Championship, and thanks for talking to us, buddy. Good to meet you, Margaret. Who are we in for, Jerry? I know about it. No, here I'm here with Arlie Stafford and Post McCroom, who took part with the charity appeal, and uh, John Rayon from the Sequaces. I mean, John is going to sing a song uh, for Penny Canada's. Uh, Karen does it for me. <laughs> no, no, John. That's right, Pat. Right, and Karen is doing it a long time for me. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, for Karen and I were pals since our boyhood days of yore. Together we both listed in the same militia corps. He swore he'd guard me from the foe and let all quarrels ring. But whilst inside the canteen, we wouldn't have anything to drink. I call for a pint of the old and brown. Callahan comes and he mops it down. And whilst he's drinking me pint in a house belong to Tim. Oh, here am I as large as life and I doing the same for him. All together no less. For Callahan does it for me. Oh, Callahan does it for me. In a house belong to Tim. Oh, here am I as large as life and I doing the same for him. Now we both work in a tailor shop. We're measurers by trade. And I work in the apartment where the gents' clothes are all made. But Callahan, where the ladies go for bloomers now and then. Each morning I say to him, I don't like measuring men. Oh, measuring men for suits and halves. Over their tubs and round their, their calves. And while he measures for me, the length and breadth of my limb. Oh, here am I in the ladies' shop, and I doing the same for him. For Callahan does it for me. Oh, Callahan does it for me. And a house belongs to Tim. Oh, here am I as large as life, and I doing the same for him. Oh, I've been working hard all day. I go home on my life. Sometimes I absolutely feel too tired to kiss my wife. But Callahan does it for me. Callahan does it for me. There he goes with his flippity flip and he loves it all over the old girl's lips. And while she's kissing me wife in a house belong to Tim. Oh, here am I with his old doll and I doing the same for him. For Callahan does it for me. Oh, Callahan does it for me. In a house belong to Tim. Oh, here am I with his old doll and I doing the same for him. Again, next come on, then go. Oh, Jesus, come on, John. 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 Oh, Jesus, come on
When I was just a young fella, the gaffer of a star, I said, my pretty young sir, buy your light me cigar. I smoked it all through Christmas, my dear beloved wife. She said, throw away the end of it, I will not on my life. Oh, the butter me old cigar, tra-la, tra-la, tra-la. I walked through Piccadilly and no doubt I am a star. I'm not so very handsome. But I'm a bit of a lordy daw I tickle the lady's fancy with the bottom me old cigar Oh, once I went to Scotland and I wore a little cute I wore a little cute, yes, I wore a little cute Oh, the wave came up behind me and it talked me on a wear Oh, what do you think the lady saw dangling in the air? Oh, the bottom me old cigar, trouble I walk through Piccadilly and no doubt I am a star. I'm not so very handsome, but I'm a bit of a lordy dog. I tittle the ladies fancy with the bottom me old cigar. Oh, me wife, she wants a vaccination just where it wouldn't show. I took her down to Dr. Burke. He said he'd have a go. The way he had vaccinated her, you should have seen the scar. I thought he had vaccinated her with a butter me old cigar. Oh, the butter me old cigar. Tra la, tra la, tra la. I walk through Piccadilly and no doubt I am a star. I'm not so very handsome, but I'm a bit of a lordy daw. I tickle the ladies fancy with the butter me old cigar. Ah, 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 ah,